Dus met die heerlijkste ding om een dag te zien, laat ik iemand kan ontmoet wat Afrikaans is, 12.000 kilometer. Van Zuid-Afrika af, af, af is, en Zuid-Afrika is nog steeds die beste. Yes! Yes! Today guys I'm going to visit this beach called Sandy Mount Beach. There are quite a few beaches in the area, they're all about 30 um, minutes out. I don't know how long it takes with the bus, some say it's like 15 minutes, some would say like an hour or so, but the one that I'm going to be visiting is Sandy Mount Beach. I want to see if there's something interesting happening there, if nothing happens there then I might make it to the other beach, but to get from the one beach to the other beach is just as good as coming back to the city and taking another bus out of the city because uh, I think it's quite complicated to travel from the one beach to the other. I'll check it out this morning and I'll uh, see what the situation is like but for now let me just go and grab a cup of coffee at uh, one of the restaurants or the cafes around in the area. I've already had my my breakfast as you know I've had some leftover biryani. Again guys not ideal I'm not eating healthy at the moment but uh, it filled the gap and I thought, uh, let me just do that and then have proper breakfast, but now I'm not hungry anymore. But I do need something to, to wake me up, obviously. And also it's cold, so I want to just get some coffee uh, to, uh, to help with that. You know guys, I, I stopped drinking coffee. Uh, when I left Cape Town, I wasn't drinking coffee for a few months. Now I've, I've, um, I've been drinking again, but mostly because it's so cold out here. But I promise when I get back to Cape Town, I'm going to stop again. Alright? This hostel that I'm staying at, well, that is, uh, seems to be an old church, right? And I think obviously with some renovations and add-ons, they've added the uh, sleeping quarters. So, I suspect that this was an old monastery or something. So, like the church with sleeping quarters. The structure is still here, obviously, so that is the church. Be the change you want to see in the world. Mm -hmm. My bus but I didn't put out my hand I had to wait another 30 minutes so hopefully my bus will come now it's about two minutes to go and also by the way that bus was early it's supposed to be here at 11 26 and it came at about 11 22 so I thought okay well maybe that's not the bus and the correct one is coming right on time but they were a bit early and uh, so now I'm just uh, cautious if the other one comes early as well I definitely know that it's my bus yeah, this is my Okay, I'm going to pay. Exact. Yeah. How much is it? How much is it? Where do you want to go? Uh, St. Vincent's. I still $60. I've got $250. Oh, okay, that's fine. Can I make it? Sorry. Where do I do it? In there. Thank you so much. So it's uh, 19 stops to St. Vincent's Hospital. Well, that's the stop at St. Vincent's Hospital. And then from there, I'll take a nine minute walk to 
Sandy Mount Beach. Alrighty, let's go guys. I think it was more than 19 stops. Google Maps showed me 19 stops and I tried to count. But but it's okay. I followed the uh, the bus stops anyway. So made it. And now it's about nine minute walk still from the last bus stop. Our Lady Queen of Peace. For some reason the directions are showing me through this church. Uh, I think there might be a pathway uh, through to the other side. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Okay, it's a bridge. And I think it takes me across the railway line. Yes, definitely. Alrighty, you got it. We're on the right track. Sandy Mount Beach I'm definitely not here for a swim guys that I can promise you yeah, let's get a bit closer and as you can see many people are walking their dogs it's a nice grass patch as well, but I think that open space, man, that is amazing. Wow, look at this one. <laughs> so playful. Absolutely love this guy. She loves the free open space and she loves the beach. She loves swimming. Wow. I've actually never encountered another dog that loves swimming so much. But then again, maybe they do. I'm just being biased now towards my dog. Look at that guy. Is that a greyhound? Wow, look at those cute little doggies, man. But then again, guys, if I should bring my Rottweiler to this beach, or in fact to any beach, she clears that beach in no time because she's a Rottweiler, right? And she's so friendly and so playful, but she's big and she looks intimidating. So uh, the minute uh, people see me on the beach with my dog, they start making way and people start picking up their dogs because I don't think they want to risk that encounter. But all she wants to do is play, man. Look at that one there, playing fetch. So I've got a favorite beach in Cape Town called Kalp Bay. I'm the first one 
and it's out there in Blauberg, about five minutes from where I stay. The age difference was always yeah. just so, so much, I would yeah. take my dog people to that beach and we would spend maybe an hour, maybe an hour, 30 minutes just running on the beach. She would then enter the water as well, go into the waves. But there's a whole lot of rock pools as well, so she enjoys swimming in the rock pools. And I would like to spend some time there with her, but I normally go on a time where there's less people and where she has the beach to herself. And I can film her and I can film some of the scenery and I like to film the sunset there as well. So obviously I take her uh, kind of towards the golden hour. That's the vibe guys, that's the vibe. People are just out here with their dogs. And uh, some people are jogging. Some people are just walking along the pathway. Thank you. Wow, look at her go, man. Love this guy. Love this. But I especially love that the dogs are so happy. They are just out here guys enjoying themselves, having the best time. I hate when dogs are just confined to like one little spot. Some people actually tie up their dogs as well. I hate that guy, honestly. For me, this is how it should be. They should have the freedom to run around just to get rid of some of that energy look at this man come on guy come on come on get it yeah <laughs> right what's his plan <laughs> Look at that, look at that guys, that is awesome freedom. man. Freedom, love this. <laughs> you wait there until the ball is wrong. <laughs> oh, look at him man, on the prowl. Ready? Ready? Look at that, wow guys, I love seeing this man. Look at that, get it guy. See this this couple just agreed with me now. Freedom. That's what it's all about. Dublin Bay Sandy Mount Strand. Alrighty. Can't see much on me guys, but you get the idea. Okay, so this is where we are guys. Right. And over there is the electricity station, which is that guy over there. And then there's the Dublin Harbour and the East Wall, which is right over there. Okay, that gives you some idea, guys, of where we are. If somebody just didn't put some graffiti on there, we could have seen what that's uh, what that's all about. But then there's also a lighthouse somewhere. Right, I see some waves coming in guys. I don't know if you can see that in the distance. But earlier on when I arrived, there was not a single wave. But I do see them now. And there's also a ship leaving the harbor. 
Alrighty. Well, at least in some ways, not guy. So maybe you can sue me after all, but not right now. Not today. I'm not sure if the water comes all the way. Well, maybe it does. That's. Well, I don't know. Maybe the water comes all the way during high tide. Check this out, guys. It's like a fort or something. I just want to get closer and see. Right, some nice graffiti on here as well. No struggles, only snuggles. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to get my feet wet. All right, let's see if we can try the other side. Let's hope there's some dry sand that we could cross over on. Oh, okay, let's check it out. Yep. Nope. I believe this is the the little town of Sandy Mount. So it's Sandy Mount Beach and then the town of Sandy Mount. So it's a suburban area right on the beach. Right guys and then we have this uh, the gas station on that side. It's uh, strategically placed <laughs> and it seems like the only place that has any food around here. So I'm gonna try and get myself uh, something to eat. Oh, I just messed up my shoes now. Oh, guys, come on. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a, maybe a burger or something. I don't think they have like food, you know, like a cooked meal or anything like that. So they have hot chips and, uh, oh guys, I can do with that biryani of last night now. But anyway, been there, done that. Let's find something else. And I'm going to eat, have it on the beach. And then I'm going to make my way back to Crofton Street or Henry Street out in Dublin city, in the Dublin city center. A scoop doesn't sound too bad now. Let's see what they have. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna give it a miss. So I went for a, a chicken roll. So that's got some spicy chicken with uh, lettuce and some sauce and some peppers and cheese. Let's see. Yeah, baby. Let's go down. my way to the Indian restaurant again and then I happened upon this chai cafe coffee and confectionery and then it's like I heard something call my name you know those moments anyway guys 
So I'm going for the spicy tuna sandwich and the chai latte. Just felt like something different. That's my chai latte. That is a spicy tuna sandwich and it's got some uh, obviously tuna, jalapenos, village, French rocket salad and mayo. Here we go. Sorry guys, I just had to read the menu as well. One up the tea. This is a quick in-betweener. So we're watching the game between Arsenal and Chelsea in an Irish pub. I'm going to show you my friend uh, Gournay right now. He just stepped out for a bit. But yeah, so far Arsenal's leading 3-0. The pub's not really that full guys. Well, it's half time now, but either way. Um, understandably so, because uh, we are in Ireland and uh, it's two English Premier League teams playing each other. Arsenal and Chelsea. So yeah, I bet you if we had been in uh, London today, <laughs> guys, this place would have erupted. But yeah, so happy to be watching the game here in, uh, in Ireland. And uh, my team's leading so far, so I'm happy. It's a very quiet pub, I gotta say. <laughs> well, it's in the community, so it's not really in the city, because down in the city, the pubs are totally loud and you know uh, but here in the in the community in the suburb it's really quiet so it's okay i'm 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 happy either way this is my friend uh Kone. Kone, say hi to my people man <laughs> are you taking a youtube video <laughs> this is gonna go viral please let's do it a viral thing because i love this guy we are from SA and we are going to party tonight. His team is in front 3-0 um, in South Africa. 90% um, people man you. Tonight I am supporting Arsenal. They 3-0 ahead against Chelsea. So if all you people. Can you say something in Afrikaans? Baie lekker om te wees, Samo Denzel. Dus met die heerlijkste ding of een dag te zien, dat ik iemand kan ontmoet wat Afrikaans is, 12.000 kilometer. Van Zuid-Afrika af, af, af is, en Zuid-Afrika is nog steeds die beste. Yes! Yes! Here we go! Kom, 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 so, Kone heard me speaking on the phone earlier today and he recognized my accent and uh, I was actually speaking to somebody back home, having a video call and uh, I had to speak a bit louder than usual. After the call was done, he came over to me and asked me, so everybody and I said, yeah, <laughs> Cape Town. Yeah. And then I found that he's from Cape Town too. And, was just passing through traveling and he then asked me to give him a hand with uh, some traveling arrangements going forward because he wanted to go to Eastern Europe to uh, Prague and those people wanted to in and Poland and then also he wanted to go to Budapest in Hungary. I said, yeah man, no problem, this is what I do. So I'm going to do my own arrangements and everything, so happy to help somebody out. And then today we decided, hey listen, this is the game, let's watch the game tonight. Uh, he doesn't support the same team, but tonight he's on my side, so he's supporting my team. So I'm really grateful that I met him and that uh, we could spend some time together. What are the odds that two Kaptonians will end up in a, in a hostel in Dublin and uh, then uh, in the night at the pub, in an Irish pub, uh, watching the game, my favorite game. Guys, this is life, man. You see what happens, guys, when you, when you open yourself up to possibilities and you're willing to take those risks and you're willing to just, uh, just do stuff, you know? Things happen and it's all positive, guys, and I'm really appreciating this. It's really great.